Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be diving into the Wing Agent package. This is the official package released in our team that's helping you to design local agent to create Python code for you, as well as to execute the code for you. So in this video, we're going to be walking you through how to interact with this Python package and how to build a local agent to have it do some tasks for you on your behalf. So with that being said, this is the main page. It's pip installable Python package. And then we have a repo here as well, if you want to inspect the code behind the scene. First things first, let's go to a Jupyter Notebook. For the sake of simplicity, I'm using Colab as an example. It does not require a whole lot of code. First of all, we want to pip install the wing agent package. And then we use Google Secrets to manage the API key. After that, you can import chatbot from Wing Agent, Mistral Agent. To launch the chatbot, you just need to instantiate a bot using the chatbot class object by sending your API key and the agent ID. To get your own agent ID, all you gotta do is go to the Mistral AI console and create an agent yourself. And once this agent is created, you'll be able to see API ID, and that's the ID that you need to enter into this chatbot class object. Once that's done, you are all set. You can run this code and start talking to your own personalized Jarvis. So we can run that. And as you can see here, it pops out an input text box for you to start talking to it. So as an example, I'm gonna go to my sample directory on the left hand side check out sample data folder and then here we have a california housing train.csv so what i'm going to do is copy that path and say hi i have a data set locally in this directory colon and i just paste the directory in there give me a python code to bring out all the columns I hit enter, and it's going to make an API call to Mistral AI agent, and it's going to try to write a Python code for me to answer my question. So let's see how that works. And here we have an answer with some Python coding here. The chatbot in the package is automatically designed to isolate the code for us. So we're going to give a name, say, sample code, hit enter. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to execute it? I'm going to say capital Y, that means yes. Boom, there you go. Here are the columns in the data set. So we can kind of examine this a little bit. Of course, it depends on human instincts and human knowledge. One idea here is, hey, maybe median housing value is something we're interested in. So I can copy that. I can say, I want to build a regression model using sklearn to predict the median housing value. Use this column named median housing value as the target variable. Use sklearn to build a linear regression model to predict median housing value. Print the training and test set uh, mean square error for me in the end. Write this Python code for me. I hit enter and it's going to take this giant prompt to make an API call to Mistral AI agent that I stood up, then come up with an answer with some Python code inside. And we're gonna try to see if we can execute that using the agent in this Python package solution. So let's see how that works. And then here we have a couple of Python codes. We can of course examine this a little bit, but that's okay, I trust this. Let's go ahead and give a name. So what name do you want to save? I can say linear regression model code on housing data. I hit enter. It's going to ask me whether you want to execute or not. 
enter capital Y as yes, and E will execute the code for us. Here we see the bot output is training set mean square error and test set mean square error as I asked for. Now, of course, these two numbers are huge numbers because we're looking at mean square error, and that is the square of all the errors together, and then we'll take an average number. Of course, we can then refresh our code and see that here we have this linear regression model code on housing data. And this is going to be a .py script created on the left-hand side. We can double click on that and then inspect the code if you desire to do that. And as you can see, we have a Python file here, read the CSV, we process it, create the X and Y, things like that. And it even did a standard scalar for us. We train a model using scikit-learn linear regression. We do some model prediction, and then we calculate the error. So all that's done for me. I do not have to write any of these code. This is all done by agent. The experiment is done by agent. It's created by agent, and it's executed on my behalf by the agent with my approval. So with that being said, that's the experiment and demo of how you use this agent package. Once you finish, you can then say exit, all large caps, and this will finish running the cell. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully this video sheds some light of the huge upside potential of building agent-based chatbot to not just to allow user to converse with the chatbot, but have the chatbot to do two calling to run the code for us. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.